there will never be a better representation of Catwoman. He hates being Bruce Wayne. <laughs> he wants, if it could be Batman 24 7, he would. So, we're on next to um, um, the next one here now. As we're building up to the Batman here, Batman Returns. Batman Returns. So, this film has a little bit of a Toward the history, you know. When I first saw this film, I didn't like it. And I didn't like it because coming off of the first Batman film, I was like, man, gosh, wait, Batman isn't, isn't it? And Batman is hardly in the film because he's been taken over by both Catwoman and Penguin. So I remember when I first saw this, I didn't like it because I, I wanted more of Bat Batman. But as I grew older and older and older, and I went back to, to the film, I was like, oh, no, wait a minute, no, no. This is still a Batman film, but Michael Keaton is sorry, but Tim Burton is still keeping with his view of the character, which is that he is hidden, he's submersed, and he's restricted, and he doesn't talk a lot. So rather than him talking, talking, blah blah, making speeches and being about about him, he is he remains a mystery, and we're always just slowly peeling out little bit of nuggets as to what is about to, but he's a guy that doesn't want to be analyzed and doesn't really want to have a magnifying glass with him. like the magnifying glass goes upon the villains but even more so there's a image i have on my desktop you know which is when you see batman for the for, for the first time and he sees vicky Vale, and just that shot of him for me that's that is the best visual shot of batman in, in any film um because that suit is incredible. That is the best Batman suit. That, that Batman Return suit is the best Batman suit. It is in, a, an incredible piece of craftsmanship, you know. Um, and I think for... And also, the intro to Batman Returns, again, without saying a lot, it said, it, it, it said everything. Because this was a guy where Bruce Wayne was just waiting, doing nothing. So it's like, no, this guy, he hates being Bruce Wayne. <laughs> he wants... If it could be Batman 24-7, he would, but he was just literally just waiting for the bat signal and like, boom, here we, we go. So he, this is a guy who literally has nothing better to do than just to be Batman. So let's, Penguin. Now people, here's the, you have to understand. So people's issue with the Penguin was, hey man, he isn't like the Oz or Cobblepot guy who's supposed to be a gangster and everything. They really made him like this kind of grotesque Penguin. But you have to understand that Tim Burton is making the characters for his world. And you have to understand it's, it's interpretation. The comics are there. But this is Tim Burton saying, okay, this is what's in the comic. This is my interpretation of Batman, Penguin, Joker, thingy and so forth. So, so that's for my world that I've built and a world of freaks. I'm going to make Penguin a freak, <laughs> you know. And in terms of the visualization of Penguin, in terms of Danny DeVito's performance his story and just what he looked like it's incredible you know like he is supposed to be grotesque because it is a messed up world and he is a messed up person and him being the villain he has to be grotesque because you have to you're not supposed to like the villain you know this isn't like Thanos where oh you know Thanos is actually pretty cool no like every kid viewing Penguin he was he was horrifying he was horrific so it's made you want Batman to destroy him because of such a horrific messed up character that, that he was so I just thought you know that's what Danny DeVito, Mr. Tim Burton did to bring that character to life was, it was it was amazing. Just what he looked like, it was it was simply amazing. Catwoman, guys, you know, basically, I live alone in my uh, 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 apartment. Pretty much every single time I walk into my apartment, the first thing I did is the first the first thing I say is, "Honey, I'm home." I forgot, I'm not married. Like, and because that's what she says, like. And also had the toil as well. There will never be a better representation of Catwoman than what Michelle Pfeiffer did. It's it's impossible. It's 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 never going to happen. What Michelle Pfeiffer did, along with Tim Burton, and how the brothers' character life was perfect because it's like they made it so unique and so specific from the suits, Michelle Pfeiffer's performance how she intersected in the story within Penguin and Batman, where she was within the story, where is she hero, is she villain? And just what she looked like from a visual point of view, it was 
It's just incredible. And because it was done so well in a specific way, it is impossible for anyone to compete with it. And Hathaway's is pale in comparison. From the Batman TV show, no. And even with this new one with Batman, no. Like, that character was just incredible. But at the heart of the film is Batman's relationship with Catwoman and how well that does and how well Michael Keaton and Michelle Pfeiffer play off of each other. I think they were actually both boyfriend and girlfriend at the time. And you remember, this, what, you're, what we're being told about Batman is that he's restrictive, he's alone, he's a recluse, and Alfred wants him to be with Soma. And you, I think you saw with Vicky Ville, he was like, I'm a freak. Me being a freak, living this freakish life, can't work with someone like Vicky Ville. But he sees in Castle, when she actually finds out that, when he finds out that he's coming, that, oh, I can work with this because we are both freaks. So we are both within this on, on the same level playing 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 field. But I think ultimately Catwoman is like, no, I have to roll alone and I have to roll solo. But I think Batman definitely finds kinship with Catwoman. So I think when I look at Batman Returns, I think many people say, oh no, this is more of a Tim Burton movie than a Batman movie. But for me, I think I still feel that as much as it's very much a Tim Burton film, the world is so dark and because what Tim Burton did is that what he did in that first film, he just took it to the next level in this film. So it got even darker, even creepier, even much more messed up. And just again, the art direction and the visual visualization was so good, it was superb. The only criticism I'll say about this film is that I felt that we could have had a, would have learned a bit more about Batman. Not too much, because I still like how he's reserved, but I think it would have been interesting if he just learned a little bit more about Batman and what it was about and just sort of got into much more about his character, you know, but I still feel that when you go back into the film and you just look at the world, the directing, the how the world feels and what, again, guys, I should say, like, every time you see Batman in that film, he just looks incredible. And again, it just shows you the, the dichotomy between Bruce Wayne and Batman and just how different those two are. And I think for me, it's a film that's grown on me because at first I didn't like the film. I was like, eh, nah, no. And also, <laughs> Pepe Penguin freaks me out. But as I've grown older and older, man, the film actually grows on me. It gets better and better and better. And for me, I accept it for what it is of like, oh no, he went in a very different direction artistically, stylistically with this. And for me, if you just enjoy it as it is, it is, it is still a very, very, from just a style point of view, it is an extremely highly stylish film that I think you have to enjoy and, and admire just for the visualization that Tim Burton does and just how he's as I said he still keeps the interest of Batman. I'd have liked to know more about Batman and I think that was the only downfall was we we, we should have known more about Batman and we should have known more about, about the character. It's being a past two. So but beyond that it is it is still an incredible piece of work from an artistic point of view.